Shalom, Shalom, Israel, give no praise to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Hakadash. The Bible honesty that was the GMS from Uwell, Saitan, T. I came out there pushing his word in truth and sincerity, risking freedom, and you like to do so. Um, Back with another video. I'm going to label this video a genocide, a genocide of a people. And pretty much, if if you haven't been living under a rock, um, you would know that lately major news has suggested that the U.S. Con uh, con uh, congressional meeting had decided that um, they're going to overturn Roe Ro versus Wade, um, which has been an ongoing ongoing court case to where you know uh, U.S. Constitution uh, congressional hearing and uh, people out of Congress wants to ban abortion so it would just overturn so now it's illegal now certain states could uh, ban abortions and um, the reason why I'm going to label this a genocide of the people is because of a people is because Abortion was specifically uh, created for the extermination of minority people, okay? Uh, quote, unquote, black, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Israelites, okay? The people of the Bible, all right? The sons of God, the children of Israel. And it was, it was designed by Margaret Singer, to specifically wipe out uh, Judah, which is the so-called Black Americans, um, but now it's affecting the birth rates of Edomites uh, or who you know as so-called white people. You know, and um, and and the fact that it was overturned, but the fact that it still goes on. Shows that, you know, this is not only a genocide of people, but we are the end of the world, you see? So let's get scripture real quick. Genesis 6 verse 13. And the Most High said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Right, man, this is a part of the violence. Uh, abortions. The earth is filled with blood. Let's get a quick scripture, man. Because the Most High never commanded that. Um, be fruitful. This is, what the, this is what the scriptures say. Genesis 1 verse 28. And it, and it said, uh, you know, the Most High say throughout, all throughout the scriptures. It said, and the Most High uh, blessed them. And, and, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. And replenish the earth and subdue it. You see? So, that, so the Most High don't want... You know, abortions to take place Abortions to happen The most high wants babies being born You see Because they make it seem like the earth is overpopulated But, um, you know, that's the trigger Esau eat them, man To get you You see So, let's go to this, man um, This is from PBS News Hour Black Black and Hispanic people have the most to lose if Roe is overturned. And this is uh, May 4th, 2022. Okay, that was a few months back. And, you know, this is Esau's trickery. This is how he uh, manipulates things. He feels like, you know, Jake get pregnant. You know, Jake lacked ed education. Jake lacked um, economic ability to support children. So they're going to be affected through uh, giving birth to children. They want your birth rates low, which we know uh, that happened in Egypt, okay? The Egyptians, uh, mainly Pharaoh, was concerned that Israel would grow too much in number. And if war broke out, that uh, Israel would, would fight with the enemies or the adversaries of Egypt and subdue it. So... Egypt in turn afflict them with hard bondage, okay? Abortions wasn't a thing in Egypt. Uh, not like how it is now, you see? So this is a dream come true for Esau Edom. But the only problem is his birth rates are in the negative, meaning 
if we continue on, they'd be done up as a species. Okay, they would go extinct. So it says, um, reading on, if you're a black or Hispanic, which is all by words, all right? That's national nationality. You are sons of Israel, children of Israel, Yashal, in a conservative state that already limits access to abortions, you are far more likely than a white person to have one. And if the U.S. Supreme Court allows states to further restrict or even ban abortions, minorities will bear the brunt of it, according to the statistics analyzed by the Associated Press. The potential impact on minorities be became all the more clear on Monday with the leak of a draft Supreme Court opinion suggesting the court's conservative majority is poised to overturn the landmark 1973 decision legalizing abortion. The draft decision is not yet final, but it sent shockwaves through the country. Overturning the Roe v. Wade decision would give states authority to decide abortions and legality. Roughly half, largely in the South and Midwest, are likely to quickly ban abortions. When it comes to the to the effect of minorities, the numbers of in, unambiguous in Mississippi, people of color comprise 44% of the population, but 81% of women receiving abortions, according to Cassie Family Foundation, which tracks health statistics. In Texas, there are 59% of the population and 74% of those receiving abortions. See, look at that. The numbers in Alabama are 35 and 69%. In Louisiana, minorities represent 42% of the population, according to the state health department, and about 72% of those receiving abortions. Look at that. 72% of the population of minorities are receiving abortions. Abortion restrictions are racist. Uh, said Kathy Torres, Torres, organizing manager with Fonterra Fund, a Texas organization that helps to pay for abortions. They directly impact people of color, black, brown, indigenous people, people who are trying to make ends meet. You see? So they're suggesting that by having children, uh, you'll be poor because you have a lot of mouths to feed. You see? which the scriptures uh, had laws to where you would support the family, okay? But in Esau's world, it's, it's completely opposite, you see? Um, yeah, man, so, so, so you know, it's, 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 a pretty, it's a pretty long read, but, you know, just to keep your eyes on, on, on what's going on now, man, um, you know, with the decision to uh, overturn Says Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade and the federal rights of legal abortions in the U.S. Man, and it, and this is Esau's dream, man. Because during the time when um Yahusha was born, they uh um uh um uh, Caesar wanted to kill um all the men child uh, three years old and under. You know, and um, Mary had to flee um, in parts of Africa from Israel to escape that, you know. So this is a part of the genocide, man. Um, now that they outlawed that people are, you know, going crazy, they marching. But, you know, I'll read that one more time, man. Genesis, uh, Genesis 6, verse 13. And the Most High said unto Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. And I, and that's why, and I, this is one of the multiple reasons why the Most High is about to come and destroy this place. So, uh, but that I want to give up praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Achak, the Dash, the Wan, Sid Elish, Dimash, Wu El Sid Titi Akim. Keep your eyes open. Until next week, Yahshua.